Okay, got the microphone on here. All right. Um, I left. Uh, I just left the castle where we've got uh, some marching orders there from the from the RO or whatever her name is. Uh, and I came back to the camp here and immediately Wynn has opened up a conversation here. I haven't said anything to her yet, so you haven't missed anything. Uh, let's see. She didn't collapse in battle. She collapsed after battle. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. You spoke to Petra, did you not? She told you I saved her from a demon. I did, but I did not survive that encounter. You're undead. Let me explain fully. Yes, please I do. engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back, firmly but gently, as a mother would a child, eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. The Fade contains spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known, because they want nothing from mortals, unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Hmm. <laughs> You're gonna die soon, no surprise there. Yes, that we will. So she's a goner. Let's do some selling. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you'll be enough already. Gosh, you can't get past that conversation fast enough. What is this? That's a gift. Sell the topaz. Sell the amethyst, sell the garnet, sell, sell the chalice, sell the engraved bowls, sell the documents. Uh, I don't want to sell the dragon scales, probably good for something. Enough by my standards, anyway. Let's take a look at these things. Okay. And let's see. What do, what's my inventory? 
inventory at 62 out of 80. Okay. Let's take a quick look here. See where... Well, this is highlighted. Denerim. Prime wave. Missing in action. Okay. Contract to kill Ambassador Gainley, who's residing in the royal palace of Azamar. Probably can't get in there. Maybe I can. Azamar's aid in battling the Blight. They travel underground to the fabled Dwarven City. That sounds like an interesting thing. But first, let's go to the other town and collect our reward. Or one of our rewards. Maybe we can catch a fight on the way. Let's see. Let's talk to the loner over here. I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. You helped me avoid the fate my mother had in store for me. At the very least, I think I can aid you in return. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Minus ten? I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. You helped me avoid the fate my mother had in store for me. At the very least, I think I can aid you in return. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Are we? Then why do you ask such a question? <laughs> I'm just pissing her off. Left and right here. Something I can help with? What is meant by someone like me? And there were no beautiful, charming women in the cloisters, you think? <laughs> you would be wrong. There were many lovely young initiates in the Lothering Cloister. All of them chaste and virtuous. <laughs> it added to their mystique. Because then, they were forbidden. And forbidden fruit is the sweeter, no? Flatterer. I, however, did not take vows, and so perhaps I am not as enigmatic. The Chantry provides succor and safe harbor to all who seek it. I chose to stay and become a fund.
We affirm our belief in the Maker, in Andraste and the Chant, but other than that, there are no vows taken. The Chantry does not pry, and you should. I desired time apart from the world. I was a traveling minstrel in Orlais. Tales and songs were my life. I performed, and they rewarded me with applause and coin. And my skill in battle? Well, you pick up different skills when you travel, yes? Yes, of course. Um, let's move on. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I've something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret, after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about her except her name and where she lives. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then, well, it's worth a look. All right, so let's uh, let's head off and do that quest. Let me just talk to. I've a question, if I may. Well, here's the thing. I swore an oath to serve you, yes? And I understand the quest you're on, and this is all very fine and well. My question pertains to what you intend to do with me once this business is over with, as a point of curiosity. Oh, I imply nothing specific, of course. One simply assumes that once your Grey Warden business is finished, you would have no need of an assassin to follow you about. Am I wrong? And what if I didn't wish to leave? Indeed. Hmm. I might even be glad to call myself such, come to think of it. It is good to know what my options might be, but that is for another time. For now, we have much to do, yes? Oh, 
Oh, you get approval just for petting the dog. Can we say hello to Sten? How you doing, Sten? Yes. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Very well. As you wish. Hmm. Well, let's get out of here. I think we've done enough yapping. Okay, so we've got to bring Alistair yes. along. Let's see. He's... Was he leveling up? Did we bring him along on a mission? She's 11. Let's see. Indeed. And yes. Stan. All right. Where haven't we gone yet? Civil War? Denerum? Well, let's go here. I think we had some people, to uh, some missions that we completed. I have to take a look at the the journal there. We're gonna go all there without a fight. Wow. Let's look at the map. Forgotten verses. Foul and corrupt are they who have taken his and turned it against him. Good to see you, Warden. Fighting the good fight, eh? I'm following up a lead in the palace district. If it all works out. Yeah. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. Nice to see you again. Really? Oh, pardon my incredulity. I would like to examine them in any event. Let me see. The scrolls are old, no question, and the script, it's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the De Winter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. I need parchment, quill, and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Maferat's final days, and perhaps more. Ah. Uh. I know, it's remarkable. The same Maferat who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. It could take months. The ciphers were designed to be difficult for the Magisters to decrypt. Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find. Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. All right. You gonna open up the gate? Yes. No. In the name of Andrasse, bride of the Maker, be welcome in this house. I've heard that somewhere before. Did you need something else? I'll come May back the light later because you're not guide your me in again. All men are the work of our Maker's hand. That's 
my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe yes, you go. are. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Where is the sister's house? This is it. Okay. I shall do. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? <laughs> Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead! They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <laughs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. <laughs> and who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend, and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. <laughs> Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. <laughs> well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I... I feel like a complete idiot. Yeah, she'll come around. Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. 
Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. All right. Didn't we have somebody else on the list here to talk to? Let's... Welcome back. You looking for fine armor? Mm. You have what? Dragon scale? Real dragon scale? Marvelous. Look how it reflects the light. How did you get... You know, I don't want to know. Alas, traveler, I must confess I have not a skill. Why, oh maker, do you torment me? If you find Drake's skill, sir, and if I could practice, then one day, one day, I could make a fine set of armor for you. Oh, there, there, Master Wade. He does get terribly emotional at times. Come again. All right, so he's not the guy that can make it for me. Um, the only other guy I know... It shall be done. ...that's making armor... Well, there's the other guy in uh, Redcliffe. We'll try this guy across the way here. Dwarf. Welcome back. Is there something else you'd like to look at? Only the finest crafts, straight from Orzammar. I'll answer what I can, but my policy is not to sell things that don't belong to me. Any time, my friend. All right, dwarven what? crafts. Find dwarven crafts. Don't... All right, where was the thing that we had to do here? Master Armor Smith I know is there's that guy in Redcliffe that's a blacksmith, I believe. But let's go collect our money for the mercenaries we took down. Wrecked for more is the bar. You won't find better. And we can go to the building across the street where that we sent that guy home. And we can let him know that we got uh, the ashes. I don't think I, do I have anything for him? What can I get you, stranger? Find everything you need. Hmm. Deal? Oh, I don't know. But if anything interesting happens, feel free. So I get tier one gloves. That's it. That's the best you got for me. We'll leave him in there. The payment was not sufficient. Is there anything else? Can we 
get into the, any of these places again yet? No, nope, gate's still shut. You hear about this son of Merrick, some bastard from Redcliffe, I hear. Oh, we can go in there and talk to her again. Yeah. Talk to her. Five miles to feed. Well, congratulations. Let's walk back here. See if there's anything to steal from her and her five miles. Okay. I don't see anything. So we'll just wander on past her and uh, wish her luck. Load screens are taking a while. I don't know why. Anything else here on the map? Nothing. Alright, so out we go. Before, let's get the world map here. And there's this map the Pearl, Dirty Back Alley, Dirted Building. Back streets. Can't get in there, can't get in there, can't get in there, and can't get in there. So I guess it's back out here. Brazilian outskirts. Did we go to this place yet? We haven't been to the Frostback Mountains, I don't think. Alright, well, let's. Ooh, Civil War. Let's try this one here. I'm not sure if we went there or not, but um, we can definitely make it. Well, I know I was going to go to Redcliffe and get that guy. Um... Shoot. Well, I guess we're committed now, so. Okay. Trap detected. Flimsy leg hold trap. Who are these guys? Bandits? With three archers. Look at that. Oh. Coming trap. Trap oh. disarm. Alright, I'm going up there. <laughs> This isn't good at all. the last save it was in the camp it's been a while since I saved holy fuck all right well this whole part I can't believe I've got to go back and do everything all over again <sighs> see this is the shit that pisses me off I, I you know I'm, I'm tempted to not even put this video up now but just this is like I'm gonna I'm gonna post this damn thing anyway this is to show you that the last half hour that we spent gaming there were no automatic saves in there so you get killed on some stupid battle 
going down a road after gaming for a half an hour, and we got to go back right back to where we started and do everything all fucking over again. So, let that be a lesson to you. I'm going to end it here, and I'll think about posting it if I, if I do. And you sat there and you watched this and you're pissed off, I don't blame you. But <laughs> let that be a lesson. So if you're playing this game, don't do what I did. There's got to be a way to just do an auto-save every 10 minutes where this thing auto-saves. That would be nice. So anyway, enough for this part. We'll start it all over again and... Ugh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching.